Oh boy, I can't wait to finish floor 6 of the catacombs. Okay, go, 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 find all the secrets. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay, I'm going. Hello, I am the floor 6 boss and no one has ever killed me. Oh yeah, well, that, that's what Bonzo said to when we one-shot him. Oh no. God damn it, I knew Dungeon sucked. I should have listened to 30 Virus. He's always right. Did someone did someone just say 30 Virus is always right? Yes. No. He's my he's my favorite Minecraft YouTuber. No. Yes he is. No. God damn it, I'm leaving. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm, I'm not saying you have to hate Salty Virus. I'm not saying you have to like dungeons. I'm just saying you're an idiot if you don't. Hey, I'm leaving. No, no, wait. <clears throat> Hello, and um, welcome to another episode of... Random Hypixel Skyblock stuff um, today. Uh, as you probably figured it out, we're going to talk about how you you could have more fun during dungeons. Dungeons is actually one of the larger parts of the game, and a lot of people don't enjoy it. Not because they don't enjoy roguelikes and stuff, but because dungeons is actually quite frustrating and it has a lot of issues which makes it very inaccessible for new players and players who just don't play dungeons it's really, it's there's a lot of weird stuff to it and we're going to talk about a few ways to increase your fun in dungeons and your efficiency of course being efficient is fun most of the time anyways so first thing you want to do uh, is join this dungeon secret discord server uh, which shows you all the secrets in all the floors it's it's really great it's easy to navigate and the thing is it's uh, it's really good if you're trying to get us plus especially but if you're using it for your first time you might notice hey, this is taking me just as long or even longer than just wandering around aimlessly in the room and finding the secrets eventually and uh, yeah that is true but it's it's still an improvement okay so for example if you're uh, if you're doing your homework on a book and you know you have a bunch of questions to answer and you just go look through the book don't actually read it and just scan to see and maybe I find the answer you know that's that's quite a bit more efficient at doing your homework than reading through the book and answering afterwards but it's not a good idea because if in the future you'll get more homework about the same book or if you will get a test about the book you won't you won't know any information except the one that is asked in the questions uh, so yeah similarly if you wander around aimlessly you don't actually know where the secrets are you you know that the, you know a secret is hidden behind some vines or whatever but you it's it's really <laughs> to get confused and forget where you are inside the dungeon room but by using the secret finder you actually know where the secrets are not just um, what they're hidden behind which which makes it much more efficient for later runs because you that's that's not the only time you're going to be playing dungeons second thing you should do is find better teammates probably the most frustrating thing about dungeons is that you have to play with a team which can be really fun especially if your team is really good but it can also be really frustrating so um here's a few tips on how to identify bad teammates first off tanks i'm not saying good tank players aren't out there but 
Most people only choose tanks so they die slightly less. Mo uh, weird thing is, tanks usually die the most. Which is kind of stupid, but it's just how it is. It's it's really weird, but also avoid people who ask for tanks in their parties. Um, I've seen a lot of uh, floor 6 parties which ask for both healer and tank, and yeah, healer is pretty necessary. They trust me, unless you're really high level, which you probably aren't if you're watching this video. For, for floor 5 and floor 6, maybe even floor 4, you will need a tank, okay? Uh, a healer not a tank yeah that's what i'm saying because you will need a healer but you won't need a tank tanks are pretty pointless then which is really sad because I mean, it's a pretty cool concept you know the, the tank distracts everyone but uh, distracts all the mobs but really it's it's just the the human version of a decoy the healer the healer is indeed necessary it heals a lot but a tank really doesn't help that much and if people need a tiny boost um, and while sacrificing efficiency because obviously tanks can't clear rooms as quickly because they don't deal, deal as da much damage then obviously those players aren't very good so and they're not very smart either because the bonus isn't even that big so uh, yeah avoid parties which ask for tanks uh, don't avoid parties which have tanks necessarily, but try to be cautious about tank players. They're usually pretty bad. Another thing that does also help a lot is dealing a lot of damage. And I'm only going to talk about mages here because first off, mage is by far the most popular class. I barely ever see a dupe of any other class but mage. Uh, pretty much everyone is a mage because Remember when floor 1, 2 and 3 came out, it was insanely broken I mean I'm a mage too because of other reasons, but but yeah, I'm a mage Just so I can't blame them. I'm not blaming them. I'm just saying that Mage is by far the most popular class and it's the one I have the most experience with so that's what the one I'm going to be talking about. A lot of people use zombie soldier gear which is okay for floors 1, 2, 3 and 4. 5 and 6 don't, please don't. Uh, start off with adaptive which is a really bad armor set for floor 5 and 6 but it's the best you can have. And then you can buy a floor 6 carry or when you're like level 18 you can find some of those completion floor 6 parties which are constituted of other bad players ganging up together to just barely beat floor 6 you know and after that you can get necromancer lord armor which is a huge improvement over zombie soldier uh, the, the chest plate is pretty expensive so for that it's mildly acceptable to use adaptive or zombie soldier but I'd say you use tier 9 perfect armor that's what I'm using at least and for the helmet uh, if you're under catacomb 16 I say you use dark goggles if you're over catacomb 16 I say you use shadow goggles don't use bonzo mask please unless you're really prone to dying but even then it has a 5 minute cooldown so and you might as well also get dark slash shadow goggles and you know after you die you put those on maybe I don't I don't know I'm just saying bonzo mask really isn't good but yeah I think those are the three main things I wanted to talk about I see a lot of people who keep dying a lot of people who keep getting stuck in trash dungeon parties and yeah it's really frustrating okay now for a bit of bonus i guess um tips the all the puzzles i'm going to talk about all the puzzles really quickly uh not i'm not gonna ponder over them because there is a lot of tutorials pretty much everywhere but yeah i just want to cover them real quick tic tac toe start in the corner unless the enemy is already in the corner in which case you start in the middle and always think ahead what will happen when you do a move 
blaze don't do blaze unless you have that mod that shows you which one is the correct blaze to shoot because it takes a really long time just ask in chat who has the mod a silver fish uh, there is a pretty easy uh, pattern to it I, I can't explain it without visual we are visual so I'm not gonna cover it thin eyes are again a pretty easy pattern remember those two are the exact same every single time so the dungeon secret but I'm pretty sure uh, discord server I'm pretty sure has a tutorial on those boxes you can you can break the wood above the chest and then open the chest for that I don't otherwise the puzzle is really easy and even if you screw it up you can just do it this way and <coughs> the the three person reader the three guys riddle not to not too many tips there again in the secret there's a thing that tells you every possible combination and which one's the right answer uh, for a rule don't rush it think make sure you're doing the right thing because remember a blessing of time is really strong and i mean it's just trivia it's it's not hard and uh, yeah i'm pretty sure those those are all all the puzzles uh, uh yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you i'll see you in another episode